Does your breath smell bad? The camera is not to eat. So welcome back to Texas Unicorns. It is a beautiful day today. Oh my gosh. So we just got back from Russell's feed and I will show you that clip. We're unloading into the tack room. We've got chicken food, horse food, horse treats, more horse food. Look at this. Teamwork, baby. All right, here, let me show you what's going on. All right, we are at Russell Feed and Supply, our favorite store. We have to get supplies for the animals one to two times a month. So we are gonna go into Russell's Feed Supply. We need horse pellets, we need hay, we need oats. We need to get chicken food, we already have the scratch, so we don't need that. We don't need cat food right now, we don't need cat litter. We already got the rabbit food, we already got the dried mealworms that the chickens love and the hedgehog loves. I don't need hedgehog food. I've got my fish food. I got my bird food for my parrots. Wow, there is a lot to remember when you have a homestead. All right, so that one can stay out. Lots to catch up on. This is for our chicken food. It's got some scratch, which is some mixture of corn and some seeds. Here. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go get dad. All right. Oh, hi, Kiki. We're still trying to decide. I think her name's gonna be Crooked. Yum, it smells so good, so fresh. Those are alfalfa cubes. Look at them all. Little food beggars. Oh yeah, but this is tempting, ain't it? <laughs> Look at, she's licking her chops. This smells absolutely delicious. These are the apple treats. So this is the True Choice high fat horse feed that we feed our horse because she needed some extra fat protein. She had a foal a couple years ago at her old home. And so we got her the, and she does really good on this. So we are keeping her on here. She is by no means needing to be off of the high fat. So we keep her on it. Look how good she is. She looks great. We got six of the cold oats that we feed in the morning. And then we got 10 of the True Choice horse pellets that we feed at night. Here you go, Pinta. Yum, yum, yum. I'm sure you would like to have two of those, wouldn't you? Oh, Pablo, here we go. And he always takes two. Rico, I'm coming for you. Boy, I don't forget about you. This is the pine that we have from our neighbor down the street. And they have a company. So this is fresh pine that we use for the stalls. Somewhere in here, uh, right there is horse pellets. And that goes underneath in the horse stall. And then we put the pine on top because the horse pellets really absorb the urine. And Miss Pinta likes to pee in her stall. She has not been in the stall much this summer so we haven't had to change it too much rico is in the other stall he does not pee in his stall so we don't need to use the pellets and then this is the hay bales this is called a two-string coastal hay so we have a suburban that we use we usually just get two this usually lasts two to three weeks for the two donkeys and one horse because the donkeys, they get overweight really easy. So we don't want to overfeed them. They all get their hay in the morning. So this was the last pellets that we had. So we're putting that in our bin first to use. The 
palettes we use at night. Oats are four in the morning. All these are the new ones. If we had extra palettes of the True Choice, we would take a permanent marker and put an X on it so that we know the X is the older feed to use up first. All right, here's our kitty litter. We need to get some new water for our kitties. We put just a little bit of apple cider vinegar in the water. You can't even tell, but it really helps to keep not only the container cleaner, but then the water. And the apple cider vinegar is really good for cleansing the inside of your body. Animals and humans alike. This food is for the cats. We have three cats. Go back and watch our videos if you haven't seen our cats. This I have the kitten chow just because I needed to pick some up. But now we're going to try this one. The chicken and rice formula made with fresh chicken. Okay, so this is a 25 pound bag I got it from Costco. This one isn't too bad. Okay, look at this Purina Naturals. It was $10 at Walmart for six and a half pounds. This has chicken. That is a very good start for it to say chicken, but then, oh no, corn gluten meal, that's not good. Chicken byproduct, yeah, not good. That's all the leftover parts of the chicken. The first three ingredients is what you wanna see. This one from Costco has chicken, and then the chicken meal, so the leftover chicken parts, but it doesn't have corn. When you're feeding corn for your animals, they're gonna poop. If you've ever had lots of corn, you're probably going the bathroom a lot. So this is going to help eliminate your litter box. And for dogs, it helps eliminate because it's just gross. Literally, it's just gross. Um, your dogs are pooping all the time. It's usually soft and yellow and nasty, especially the cheaper food you get. It's just so unhealthy for them. And then whole grain brown rice, that's pretty darn good. We've got white rice, chicken fat, ooh, flaxseed. Flaxseed is so good, guys, for everyone. Look at that chicory root. It's got bacteria in it. All this down here, okay, it really doesn't mean anything. It's like a pinch. There's not really anything in there. It's really the first three ingredients, and then maybe the next three are kind of important, but the first three is what is in the bag. This was $18.99 at Costco for a 25 pound bag of much better food than if you were to get the Purina kitten at six and a half pounds for 10 bucks. Then we have, moving along, we have the oyster shell for our chickens, for our hens that are laying eggs. Chicken grit is great for their gizzards, helps to digest. So this is the Purina brand, you know, whatever. I got it from Russell's. Grit is grit, so I'm not too picky about that. We always have extra stuff on hand, like ringworm. What else can I show you guys? Um, actually, we can probably get this out. I'm one-handed since I'm filming. Russell the Muscle. Russell's feed supply is our favorite. We go to tractor supply sometimes, but... So this is an egg maker pellet. All right, this is a pellet for our chickens. This is where our chicken food is, right here. The chicken feed is made out of corn. Millet grains in here. There's some pieces of corn, as you can see right there. They're not real fond of this pellet stuff. We give it to our chickens. Lots of variety for them. And then we have trained our barn cats that if they want, they can go in the litter box. So, which was very handy when they had surgery because we had to keep them in our other party barn by the pool. And they used the litter box beautifully when they had to be in there for three days after surgery. So here is a natural clay. I don't spend a lot on that. That's five bucks for a 25 pound bag. You gotta have a budget for all this, folks. When you have a homestead, 
you have got to watch every penny on what you're buying. We have one rabbit and what, four guinea pigs? Okay, the next thing on our list is our mane and tail horse shampoo for the donkeys and the horse. And don't mind all this, I'm like a total clean freak, but I have learned with the tack room and the farm, I cannot fret about this stuff because I have so much other stuff to worry about. Like literally you can't help it, it's just everything's dusty. The feed is dusty, the pine is dusty, it's just dusty out here in the pasture. So as much as this drives me crazy that I just want like clean bottles, it's not gonna happen. And I have let it go. So this is our equine fly spray. It's got uh, citronella. We put this in a spray bottle, as is. We've got plugins if we ever need them. All right, so this water we need to replace. So this is the file to file the horse's feet. The kids are getting into that, learning about filing Vinta's hooves. We have this fly trap. We haven't really used it. I don't know. We haven't really had too much of a problem in here. And we've just got extras. We've got an extra little guinea pig hiding hut. I've got this towel in case I need it for something. We've got our litter scoop. This is our hackamore that they use when riding the horse. And it works really well, actually when they are using it with the bareback pad, which is right here. So we have that, and then our other pad, and look who I found. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, you have a collar. See this blue collar? That means it's Gino, because Gino looks like his mom, Yuri. Oh, this is so adorable. Got some equine helmets up top. As you can see, they're very dusty. We have not needed to use them because they're not riding Binta as much. That is why we're just using the bareback saddle pad. Now we don't really need to invest in a new horse saddle. Also in the tack room, we've got more kennels and some blankets that we change out for the cats. They like to sleep in here at night. Extra stuff, I didn't really use this too much. This is a chicken water. You're supposed to learn how to use that nozzle. I personally didn't really care for it. I went ahead and got a bigger container for the cat food. We've got some fun peppermint nuggets for the horse and donkeys. We always have extra cages. This is the top, obviously, of the one for the kitty's bed down there. Here is Beth, our bunny, and she goes out every single day. We have a bunny hutch for her outside that she can run around in. You ready to go out? Then we also have just extra chick feeders. I've got one up there. Hi, Kiki. This is our newest kitty that I was talking about. Our fourth and final farm cat. She is a tortoiseshell female kitty. And we are going to name her Cricket. We were starting to call her Lacey, but it just didn't fit. You're a little cricket. She likes to jump around when we come into the tack room. Look at how gorgeous she is, guys. So once she's old enough, at four months old, we will get her spayed as well. Got Jenny over here. Look how big she's getting. Are you sleepy? Is it nap time? always nap time for you. She's definitely a cat napper. Look at that. 
Oh, good boy, Rico. Good boy. You like that? Look at how far he's come, guys. Come on. You can do it. Go. Take it. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> teamwork, baby. It's all about teamwork, too. Budget, schedule, teamwork, efficiency. And having a husband does help. Strength. Yes, yeah, strength. strength. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I left that in the chicken coop. Uh -huh. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more of our content and hit the like button if you liked our video.